Hey YouTube, and today we have a review video. When life was nothing more than living for the night Just trying to steal a kiss on the tailgate of that ride Good old days don't wash away Just like that Georgia clay Today's video, um, I don't know if I've stated in the previous videos, but I'm a fan of Grizzly Wintergreen and Red Man Golden Blend Tobacco. But for a while now, I've been on the Herbal Snuff, and it's been okay. The one I've been able to get my hands on here at local stores and gas stations and Walmart has been uh, Smoky Mountain. But today is not a review on Smoky Mountain. Today we'll be reviewing a secret product, one that I have seen very recently and constantly on um, Facebook and Google and uh, even my Instagram. Uh, so, uh, so in the spirit of everything Rebel, we are going to review Back Off wintergreen or extra wintergreen fine cut um i've been seeing back off for a couple years now actually it's like as soon as i started dipping uh smoky mountain i seen back off and um maybe because their can actually looks like a real snuff can which uh thank you back off for sending me my uh reward sleeve of back off 12 cans that is amazing i entered a contest and was one of the winners and they sent me a whole sleeve of back off uh extra wintergreen fine cut back off as real as it gets no tobacco, no nicotine, a moist snuff alternative. Um, clinically, proven, clinically proven to reduce the stress and nicotine withdrawals. Handcrafted snuff since 1992. I was born in 97, so that was pretty close. Authentic satisfaction in taste, texture, and design to give dippers a realistic dipping experience. Hmm. But being that this was free merchandise, being that I want it, I guess I get codes or something with the little, little barcode thing you can scan with your phone. See it right? Right there. But, uh, yeah, thank you back off for sending me that because that was great. And, um, I finished the whole can already just, just to get used to it and work it and kind of figure out what I like and what I didn't like about it. Um, I'm going to go into it and just kind of explain the can. Um, I was trying to read this, but anyway, um, it's got kind of a, it's, it's a plastic lid, but they have a nice little sticker in the front. It gives it kind of a metallic look, like, um, like a grizzly wintergreen can or a grizzly can or... Copenhagen or any of the uh, metal lids that kind of makes it look like it gives it a feel uh, it's also got a barcode thing on the side but I think being that I cut it open I don't think you could use it you have to scan it before you open it but uh it says smoke uh smokeless tobacco snuff or snuff alternative so that's pretty cool and it's got the name on the side back off extra wintergreen Fine cut, not tobacco. Uh, made in the USA with a little American flag right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, the ingredients are tea leaves, sugar, natural and artificial flavors, glycerin, salt, water, caramel color, and sodium benzenate to assure flavor. Ingredients approved by the FDA. Oh well. But yeah. Um, it packs good. I'll give it that. It packs good. 
pretty decent heavy can. It reflects off my face. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, but just like just like a real snuff can, it's got the warning label on the front and side. So it gives it gives you kind of that mind look of when you pull it out, going all right, it's a real can of snuff. So you're gonna get kind of that satisfaction. But if you pack it, what we look at is it packs pretty good. And I don't know if it'll focus. But uh it may look shiny but in real life it don't. It's uh it definitely looks like fine cut or we would call long cut wintergreen. It 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 looks like that. Or maybe a little finer, a little finer than long cut wintergreen. But um they have a white they have a rough cut. The rough cut's more like the wide cut, uh grizzly. That's about the closest I can tell you. Is it, it's close to grizzly. And the, the smell is... It smells like grizzly. It really does. Because my daddy, he dips grizzly. And I used to. And it smells like grizzly. So, this, so far the packaging on it was a 5 out of 5. Uh, can design, definitely a 5 out of 5. Or 10 out of 10. Maybe on whatever way we go. Um, labeling, five out of five. I mean, it tells you everything, ingredients, where it was made, and it just looks good. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put one in. And, uh. Like I said, it packs good, but back off if you're watching this video. The only thing is the pinchability. That's the only complaint I have with this product is the pinchability. I mean, you can pinch it, but it don't pinch like no grizzly wintergreen or any kind of tobacco. It's really... I mean, that's probably about the biggest pinch I can get, and that's, that's a pretty small pinch for me, because I'll get a big one. Now... The flavor right off the bat you get good flavor. Kinda hard to get it packed in first, but once you get it there to stay, you might get a floater every now and then. Um got a real nice burn to it, a little sensation. Um Yeah, there. I don't know what the they would use for the burn. Maybe like a, a um, I want to say on um, Smoky Mountains they had a, a type of pepper or something that put in there and gave you that burn. They might use something like that. that. Might be what that sodium benzenite is, or I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna. Don't quote me on that. Um, it's a. Um, once you get it settled down in your lip, and it's all, you know, you're, you're settled, it's not that bad. It really is. It's got the consistency. I've tried Longhorn, Copenhagen, and Skull, but the closest thing this is is Grizzly. The consistency, the texture of Grizzly. So, the texture, 5 out of 5. Pinchability. Three out of five. I'm sorry back off. That's just something you're going to have to work on. The rest of it. Taste. Uh, five out of five. Maybe four and a half out of five. Because it does kind of taste like a spearmint. Not really a winter green. But you do get the tobacco flavor along with that 
because you can swallow this. I'll quote. I'll tell you this: you can't swallow it because you know there's no tobacco, no nicotine. So if you somewhere where you need a dip, but you can't spit anywhere, you don't have a bottle, you can swallow it. It's not. It tastes good. So, but when you do, you get that kind of tobacco flavor, and you can you can taste it. So, um. What else can I say? Um, that's pretty much it. Just letting it kind of. Oh, uh, if you do want to know where to get a can or a couple cans, go to www.dipstop.com. I'll put that in the link below or in the description. That way you can click on it and take you straight to the site. Um, they have a wide variety of flavors. They have a straight, a classic wintergreen, a mint, an energized mint, energized wintergreen, extra wintergreen, regular wintergreen. They have a wintergreen rough cut. They have fine cut. They have pouches. That's what I really want to get my hands on. So next time... Because I've never ordered from these. Yeah, this was a gift. This was gift to me by back off. But when I do order, I think I'll order me a couple fine cuts, a couple rough cuts, and then a couple pouches. Now they also got like a mocha flavor, and I don't know how that would be because I've tried Smoky Mountains uh, little flavors like the peach and the grape. I did not like the grape. But like I said, this is my first ever tasting. Or owning of back off uh, herbal snuff, and I will say, if you were trying to quit dipping tobacco, and you want to still get either the sensation, or you're just trying to slowly cut yourself off, back off is the way to go, because it does taste and feel like a good snuff. Now. A buzz? No. I don't know. Did, did it say caffeine? It did not say caffeine. It said sugar. Um, I don't know. I, I like it. Because I don't want to be sitting there. And I use this at work. Which is good. Because I've been working and have a dip in. And you get that real nauseated feeling sometimes. I might just be a lightweight. Um, but, um, if, if you, if you do want to quit, back off is definitely the way to go. I mean, the can looks nice, the product itself, I mean, it, it looks like tobacco. Um, I think their cans are two ninety nine. I'm not sure, I, I think that's what I've seen. And, um, they got other merchandise there. Um, but as in, would I buy it again? Yes. Oh, yes. I, I would definitely go out and try their flavors. I don't like a mint snuff, but I would be willing to try it. I don't like a straight or a classic, but I'd be willing to try it. Like I said, wintergreen is my thing. Um, what else, what else do I need to say? Um, my friend, he dips. He's a newfound dipper, but he's a grizzly winter marine man. And even he said that it was better than Smoky Mountain, which I've been dipping it forever. I'm 19. I've been dipping it since, it was, since I was 14, 13, maybe. And um, he said it was better than Smoky Mountain, so... It's a prover on him. Uh, I think it's better. Um, like I said, if if there was one thing that's wrong with it, or you could fix back off, it would be um, it be y'all need to work on the pinchability. I don't know whether you may need to make your fine cut a little closer, long cut, or. Because I don't know how the rough cut, I don't know how it pinches, 
I don't know how it packs. Like I said, it's my first cam, but I've heard reviews that say it don't pinch that well, it don't pack that well. Um, check it up a bit. I found that the packing is good on it. It packs good for me. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it goes all to one side. And this is pretty much a new can. I, my daddy tried it. He said he didn't like it. He, he He's old school. He's going to go tobacco. Because he used to dip um, straight. And then he went to wintergreen. But I approve. Uh, I knew it was going to be strong because it is a strong flavor. Because um, when I opened the box, that the shipping box, the cardboard shipping box, I could immediately smell it. I was like, "Wow, this is going to be good." And I took the, I took this little case here and I just kind of smelled it, and you can smell it through the box, which is that's always a good sign. And another thing with this right here, when you, if you, if you do win a sleeve. Or you buy a sleeve. I don't know unless I don't know if this is just a a prize that you get for entering a contest. If they have another contest, but what I did is they it was cool because now if I need another one, I can just pull one out, and uh, I like that. I like that because I, I go through a can pretty regular. The first can I went through all in about one day. Uh, but besides that, um. I ain't got nothing really bad to say about it. Flavor, texture, proc packaging, nothing bad. The only thing is the pinchability. So, final product status. 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. Go buy you a can, or two, or as many as you want. And uh, go show support to Back Off. Uh, Herbal Snuff, Dipstop.com. And go check out their Facebook page. They have an Instagram. And um, just go support them because, you know, they're relatively new as in 1992. So they might need a little support to help them build their company. But um, I approve. So back off. You did a good job. Um, and um, I hope that maybe they can send me some more products and I can do reviews on it and uh, help them out and help people out who want to know and are curious on where to get it, how to get it, how does it taste, Do I, is it worth my money, and yes, I, I think it is. Um, I'll order me some and tell you everything about that, but until then, this has been Brother Bumpkin doing a review, my first review on Back off, extra wintergreen fine cut. Till next time, y'all stay safe. For more content, subscribe to my channel, Brother Bumpkin.